Welcome to Hotline TV, everyone. I'm Amy Walter. John, welcome back from Vegas. Thanks. Thanks. Good to be here. But back to reality, Amy. The cable news channels have been clobbering Hillary Clinton over Mark Penn, Bosnia, the tax return stories. But pop culture shows have been far better to her of late. Producers, roll the tape. It is so great to be here. You know, I, I was worried I wasn't going to make it. Oh. Yeah, I was pinned down by sniper fire. Really? So right out here? <laughs> you know, in L.A., that might be true, actually. You're also cousins with Madonna. That's true. So... Can I see that one? Yes, too? because I think it's amazing to see you, how closely related you are. <laughs> oh! <laughs> John, has Hillary's pop culture chum offensive neutralized the bad press she's getting? from the MSM. From the MSM. I have to say uh, that I don't think that it possibly could at this I point. I think, in fact, frankly, the fact that she's going on these shows is being sort of packaged by the MSM as just an attempt, uh, a calculated attempt, to try to minimize uh, the bad happening. press that she's yeah. actually getting on the campaign trail. And that just more reflects sort of the, calcu the, the, the criticism she gets for being uh, overly calculated as a, as a politician. You know, I think at this point, we have moved into a new phase of the campaign. And it is, you saw the, the stories over the weekend, you're seeing uh, John Dickerson's story in, the, in the, our, our column in the Post today. You really are just sort of looking at what the end game will be. There's a poll of polls out by CNN today that show that Obama's now just about seven points away from Hillary, uh, 50, 42 to 49 in Pennsylvania. If he comes that close, or even closer, or, or wins Pennsylvania. Oh, well, I mean, wins, of course, this thing the, is just then, over. Then the but game is over. But I think what we're seeing at this point, though, is that these sorts of stories, whether it's, the, whether it's Mark Penn or it's the $33 million or, or her tax returns overall, uh, they're continuing to feed uh, a really downward spiral. Well, that's her. sort of the question, and I'm, I'm not one to be into conspiracy theories, and I'm not trying to take sides here, but it, is, it does seem as if, because the press corps is so, or many in the press corps, so mm -hmm. intent on having this race end, right, that right. this thing needs to be over, that they keep sort of forcing the story to to take place, which is everything's well, falling apart around her, Mark Penn is leaving, this is happening here, and the reality is she's going to win Pennsylvania. Now, what well, if it's 10 she? points? Will what she? if it's 12 points? Well, then we won't even be discussing this anymore. Okay. If, if she doesn't win Pennsylvania, then we, we can argue that the Bosnia and the sniper fire and all that led to this. But if she does win... But it's a storyline that you're right. I think the media is definitely following this one storyline, but it is definitely one that's being uh, fueled by these stories that are coming out of the Clinton campaign. Mark Penn went to uh, to, to meet with the, the Colombian yeah, government on behalf of a trade deal that she opposes. That wasn't something the media created. The media, in that sense, was just following the story, and she forced him uh, to resign because she was furious uh, because of the impact it had on her campaign. I don't think that uh, is a media creation. No, 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 no. The but super delegates are moving in Obama's <clears throat> direction. You know, she's now down two from where she was after Super Tuesday. He's up 45 or 46. So, I mean, there are, and that can be related to how the media is covering the race. But I still think, overall, you're seeing such a dramatic momentum in his in his part that it's it's increasingly difficult to see how she's Well, it's this but out. it's also that what what we've all decided though is mathematically it's impossible for her to catch up, mm -hmm. and delegates are popular vote, which means. She cannot win the nomination, no matter what happens from now to then. So whether she runs a great campaign or a terrible campaign, it'd be easier if she ran a terrible campaign, because then we could make the case much more right. cleanly, right? right? Well, not only is she behind, but then she's been doing all these stupid things, and she's not on message, and her campaign's not disciplined, and she's supposed to be all these things that she's not, and now she's making up stories about people who who died in Ohio. Well, she's and not making them up. I she agree. She, she didn't make didn't. it up. That's the thing. She didn't even... Now, should you tell a story over and over and over again that you don't necessarily know that's true? Well, I, I don't know. Probably not, but I think she's probably not the first politician right. to have done that. So Neither was Barack Obama the first person to lift quotes and speeches from other people that, uh, that, that uh, other politicians. So, I mean, you know, there's a lot of these sort of fake news, uh, fake political stories, fake uh, trail stories that I think go on. Right, because we have a lot, a lot of time. A lot of time on our hands. And a lot of airtime to devote to you, mm -hmm. our loyal viewers. Yeah. But that's going to do it for today's show. Well, don't worry. We'll be back right here tomorrow, Hotline TV.